everybody and welcome to the daily scopes 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 for the 24th of august so today venus makes a queen course to Chiron. mercury makes a sextile to mars the sun makes a parallel to mercury mars makes a sextile to Chiron, and venus enters virgo so i've talked about everything apart from Venus's Queen Quartz to Tyrone and um, which I did mention on the weekly scopes actually but I'm gonna go in depth a bit more so if you want to hear about the other transits and um, check out the weekly scopes and the special and Venus and Virgo that's on the playlist too so Venus and Queen Quartz as I said on the weekly scopes you know it allows us to really go into ourselves on a deep emotional level it really really is a nice energy for you to work with over the next few days you know uh, or to continue you know it can help you open up to the insecurities that you have related to love and self-worth you may feel unworthy of love you may feel that you 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 know you can never build self-esteem looking at where your self-esteem comes from is it based on how you think about yourself or how others thought about you what others have said you should feel about yourself and you know really you know being open to confront past wounds and experiences and really get to the bottom of any issues you've got with receiving and giving to love and this energy um is an adjustment energy meaning that queen quartz energy sometimes wants us to change often several times a day or what it means in general that we have to change our approach like what we may the techniques what we may use to resolve an emotional wound like a wound like a lover leaving us may not be able um may not be the same techniques that help us overcome a psychological wound like a wound of like feeling you're not good enough because maybe a parent rejected you and didn't give you enough love or both parents or you never knew your parents so you've have so you've got this deep-seated belief that you're not worthy of love so get into the root causes and finding the techniques that will help you it wants you to really allow yourself to be vulnerable and sensitive um with yourself or someone you can trust if you feel like you can't trust someone else so even if you feel like you can't trust yourself looking at why you feel you can't trust yourself and building up researching you know um, and building up techniques and strategies to help you trust yourself maybe because you feel that you're always self-sabotage on your deck self and then a lot of the times when these behaviors are present it's because you feel you're not worthy so again you know think thinking about the fact that we couldn't you couldn't control your parents or those who rejected you you know a lot of the times when we We've said horrible things or we do horrible things to people we are not thinking straight we are not um and this is not an excuse it's always a reason because i really from what i i really believe in you know um hurt people hurt people and misery seats company so when someone's in pain and stuff and we're all running away and we numb ourselves to our pain then you know this is what we're attracting each other we're connecting on our pain and that's not wrong but if we're helping each other to go through our pain in healthy ways but it gets toxic when no one's you know trying to manage their pain and, and you may be using drugs and alcohol to escape your pain even and this can cause more and more problems because the more you know what you have to understand is that more what you have to understand is that drugs and alcohol take us out of our normal cognition you know even weed something safe like that yeah it's good it can relax us but you have to remember that you know when we're under under the influence of any substance it changes how we can react so it's about getting realistic and honest about you know your coping strategies for your emotional pain and addressing whether you can think of better techniques to embrace your discomfort and your struggle and vulnerability and you know it encourages us um, to love ourselves and that deeper level spiritually you know it can be a time of spiritual awakening especially to your inner alchemy you know your inner your authentic self your inner power and um, even if it's weak right now weak 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 and it's just a little trickle you know it can build up over time and it invites you to connect with your higher self and tap into the wisdom of the universe or your you know the higher power and or as i said seek, seek out things that can help you heal you maybe meditation energy healing or connecting with your spirit guides can help you you know it really wants us to get 
deep down and dirty and the underscores the importance of you know how important it is that we address self-worth issues and look after our psychological and emotional and spiritual trauma over our lifespan as this encourages us to have a stronger sense of um, self-worth and you know it wants us to recognise how past hurts can influence our current behaviours and how this can be empowering. Just having this knowledge, you know, because this can help us break free from repetitive cycles and make more t- conscious choices on how we can move forward with our life, you know, and um, by prioritising self love, forgiveness, understanding, respect, resilience, acceptance, awareness, and management. And, you know, just learning to embrace or ask of yourself you know so you can have more authentic um, connections with others and um, it just wants you to be more honest emotionally and psychologically and spiritually with yourself and take it steady as you go you know it's also a song if you want to google it it's a song it's quite a cool song as well so you know just take it step by step which is also another song so content creators can talk about how we can bring more healing into our life and embrace our vulnerability and what self-esteem is and how we can improve our self-esteem how we can find inner balance and how we can become more compassionate with ourselves and empathetic to ourselves and others and you know how we can just become more comfortable with those emotional areas of our psyche and life you know so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 24th of august